faith that one out of the billions will be the key keeper to your heart, your soulmate. In fact, you might be looking at yours right now, somewhere in this room. <laughs> well, finding a relationship is no longer a reality ordeal, but a cyber one, and it is called online dating. Online dating is a new way for singles to find relationships. It has replaced the casual common flirting encounters a young nervous male might experience at a bar class or party, and replaced it with instant messaging, web chat, and emoticon, where a less than sign and a three can have that person head over heels for you in a matter of seconds. So we all have used social network sites to well, socialize. The main point of all social sites is to interact and meet new people. But how sure are you that the person you're talking to is really who they say they are? Before getting too attached to a person you met on the internet, you must all know the dangers that can work with online dating. So I was a victim of online dating. Having chatted with a girl online for a while, I began growing emotions towards her. So we decided it was time to meet up in person, only to find a rag doll with a message that read, we're even, from no other than my big brother. Oh. Although it was a joke, I felt betrayed, emotionally deceived, and really embarrassed. Just some of the things many other online daters experience. So online dating can be risky, and the majority of times ends up being lies and deceit. Today, I'm going to talk about the risks of online dating, and I'm going to talk about ways to spot fake profiles. So, first I'll talk about the risks of online dating. Online dating is more common through websites specifically made for single seeking relationships. These websites allow a person to create a personal profile. Wait, <laughs> these, these websites allow a person to create a personal profile where he or she can upload a self-image, detail personal interests, likes and dislikes, physical attributes, and demographic details, along with what they are seeking for from a partner. The person can then search the website for other online daters that match their interests. So websites are basically large databases that allow the profiles to be sorted out by key search words such as age, gender, sexuality, religion, ethnicity, and location. Once a person finds someone matching their interests, they can message them and learn more about them. If they are both interested in each other, they can ask to meet up in person, but many times ends up being not the person who they said they were. So, a research was done of in-depth interviews on online daters providing accounts of dangerous and risky situations in an article posted on pandefonline.com on August 8, 2012. After many interviews, they concluded that online daters encountered lies in deceit, sexual risk, emotional risk, risk to others, and the risk of being scammed. One woman in particular who quoted her own experience said, People lie most of the time, and a lot of men say they are looking for relationships when in fact they are looking for sex. But not only should you worry about the people, but the website as well. $29.99 a month is all it takes to find true love. If this was true, all my fast money would be gone by now. But online dating can be misleading in straight out scams. USAToday.com covered a lawsuit towards Match.com, a matchmaking site, accusing the site of sending their female employees on on dates with male subscribers at date bait to keep the males from unsubscribing. Another lawsuit was against a dating service offered by Yahoo.com accusing the site of creating fake profiles to entice subscribers, a strategic way of telling the user that money can buy you love. So, now that we know the risk of online dating, I will now discuss tips you can use to avoid being a victim of online. So, according to a magazine article titled, Screen Out Online Liars, things you should pay attention to when talking to a person you on the internet is, one, their profile picture. Beware of the Mila Kunis lookalikes or the Taylor Lautner stunt doubles because the picture is the one element in the person's profile that's most likely to be misrepresented. Two, short isn't sweet. A brief profile could be a warning sign that the person may be hiding deeper secrets. A person does this to keep self-disclosure to a minimum and to keep track of any elaborate lies in the case that you actually meet up in person. Three, if the person refuses to meet. It's a huge warning sign if the person you met online refuses to meet you in person, or if you make plans to meet, but the person keeps making excuses. Chances are they're trying to hide their true identity. Four, last and most importantly, the use of common sense. 
The person says they're currently employed as CEO of Apple or that they're an ambassador of Ethiopia. It's more than likely a lie. The use of common sense can be vital in online. So in conclusion, online dating can be risky, just an enigma of lies and deception. We learned about the risks of online dating, and I discussed tips you can use to avoid these risks altogether. So for just $29 a month, YouTube can eliminate the chain reaction of sweaty palms and pounding hearts of talking to a potential partner in person, and replace it with a lit screen and keyboard. But if you have a hole in your wallet like I do, then find the old-fashioned way. Thank you.